Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to a special housing report. Today we've got figures from Quotable Value on what's happening with house prices, particularly in the last three months to July versus the same period a year ago. For the first time, Quotable Value has found that annual house prices fell 2.2%, but actually they're down 5.1% from the peak in January this year. This market here in New Zealand is around about 6 to 12 months behind what we're seeing in the United States and the United Kingdom. UK prices are down 11% from their peak. In the US, prices are down 18%. Essentially, the New Zealand market is vastly overvalued. You can see here from this, this chart that prices have been rising, but between 2002 and 2007, they exploded. They rose about 80% inside four years. This was way off the charts. And you can see here that in the last six months or so, prices have started to ease back. And they're already falling, and falling quite fast, faster than they've ever done in the past. But that's not unusual. The price rise was much faster than anything we'd seen in the past too. A Couple of reasons for this. Home loan affordability. Prices have just gotten so out of whack with incomes. You can see here from the Wizard Home Loans Affordability Index, which we prepare here at interest.co.nz, that it now takes almost 80% of the single median take-home pay to afford the interest payments on a median house. That's up from 40% back in 2002-2003. Part of the reason for that is the house price, but also interest rates are up. Although they're down in the last couple of months, they're still up on where they were two or three years ago. Well, so what's going to happen? We have a view that house prices will fall 30% from their peak in November last year over the following two years. So by November 2009, we're saying house prices will be 30% below their peak from November 2007. We're a bit out on our own on this one. A lot of people are saying prices will meander around from where they are now and perhaps bounce back in a year or two's time. We don't think that's the case. We think house prices are overvalued, interest rates will remain high, and the economy is going into an extended period of recession. To give you a final example, there was an excellent piece in the Sunday Star Times on the weekend which showed a couple who bought a two-bedroom apartment in the Sentinel Tower in Takapuna. They bought it for $750,000. They bought it a year ago, and just last week, they sold it for $475,000. They took a 37% fall in their price. Because right now we have a Mexican standoff going on between people who just don't accept that prices will continue to fall, so they're not selling. And buyers believe that prices will fall, so they're not buying. And the market is seeing a, a freeze where volumes aren't going through. At some stage, the sellers will capitulate, either under pressure from their banks or because they believe house prices will stay low or maybe even fall further. And that's when we'll see capitulation in the market. And we're starting to see volumes increase in the last month or two, as QV is showing. That could be a sign that capitulation is near. I'm Bernard Hickey for interest.co.nz. That was a housing report special. Oh,